For this project, you will need a clock, preferably one that has a flat surface. It can be wood or plastic, doesn't matter. Sponge brush, Mod Podge, a pen, scissors, fabric large enough to cover the top of your frame, and a rotary cutter. The first thing I'm going to do is take this plastic cover off the clock. Set the clock aside for now. The fabric I'm using to cover my frame, I'm going to turn it upside down. Using this as my template, I'm going to draw a circle using a felt tip pen. Now that I have the center cut out, I'm going to attach it to my clock using Mod Podge and again a sponge brush. I'm just going to apply the Mod Podge to the very top of the frame. You do need to do this fairly quickly because the Mod Podge does dry pretty fast. Now that I've got the Mod Podge on there, I'm going to place my fabric. Lining up the edges the best that I can. And then you want to just smooth it out, making sure that it has no bubbles or wrinkles. Once you've done this, just allow a few minutes for the glue to dry really well. Now that this has had time to dry, I'm going to turn it, turn it over using a rotary cutter. I'm going to just go around the edges and cut it out. If you have some edges that ended up being a little bit rough, it's okay. You can just go around the edges and just trim them with your scissors. And after you do that, you're going to apply Mod Podge again over the top of your fabric. And this will keep it from fraying as well. Right now, it has this white cloudy finish on it, but when the glue dries, it will dry clear and it will look just like this again. So now I've applied all of the glue and I'm going to just allow time for this to dry. So the glue has completely dried and as you can see, you can't even tell that I applied Mod Podge to the top of the fabric. Now at this point you can embellish it, add flowers, um, really do anything that you choose to do with the clock. I'm adding some flowers to it. These flowers I've done in another tutorial.
Now that my clock is finished, I'm going to just add the cover back onto the frame or onto the clock. And there you go, it's done. For tips on this project and other projects, please visit my blog at www.wordswithstyle.blogspot.com. Thank you.